I think maybe that's my favorite word in the English language, <laughs> fecundity. Um, it, it speaks of this sort of deep fertility of God's presence <clears throat> within the soil of our soul, but also within the, the soil of the earth. And deep, deep in the, in the heart of all being is this fecundity of God's presence. And um, to come into relationship with that fecundity is, is not to inflate um, our our creativity or our energies for new beginnings and for artistic genius and for scientific discovery. Um, very importantly, to recognize the fecundity of God deep within the ground of our being is to remember that, that this great source for new life, for new beginnings, is not ours. Uh, it, is, it is of God deep within the ground of our being. And what we need to do is to bring our ego into relationship with that true place of fecundity and new beginnings. And that we keep forgetting, of course, that the ego is given to serve that center or that true depth within us, not to be, not to be the center. And um, I love um, Carl Jung's expression when he says we, we, we need to celebrate a last supper with our ego. You know, we don't do that once. We need to do that again and again and again. You know, right now I can make the decision to access the true fecundity of my being, which is of God. And when I do that, I can be truly present to you. I can be uh, truly attentive to what is um, most healing uh, and true for you. And um, in another 20 seconds, I need to make the same decision um, because you know the the ego keeps wanting to turn turn the attention on itself and to forget that its real role is to is to release the conduit. But I think to know and to remember as community, but also in our relationship to the earth, um, that that fecundity is there, is is an enormous liberation. Um, because, you know, wh whether it's uh, in our own healing to release the fertility of God's presence again, or whether it's in relationship to um, the radical work of caring for the earth that we that we're being called into, um, we, we can't um, create this new fertility or new beginnings for the earth, but we can get out of the way. Humanity can um, and is urgently being invited to do the work of not obstructing the way in which the earth can heal itself. And that's because of the deep um, renewing uh, life force of God within all matter.